Uh, I'd just like to say thank you uh, for being here. I know it's a lousy weather out there, uh, and it's, um, it is a pleasure to have all of you uh, tonight. Well, this is the fourth event that we do in this um, uh, venue for the last two weeks, and um, we're just very happy to close it up with this uh, gathering that we have tonight, and I'd like to say thank you on behalf of the Brian Stack Civic Association for all the support and help you've been giving us through the years. Uh, Major Stack will talk to you about uh, the good things that we do to, uh, from the Civic Association and many other things that he's been doing since he was a little boy, um, helping others. Also, I'd like to say thank you to all the commissioners, the commissioners that are here. we got uh, Lucio Fernandez, uh, Wendy Grujom, uh, and Margie that is here with us. <laughs> Celine Valdivia is on the way. He should be here shortly. And um, our, also our freeholder that is here with us is it, uh, um, Fanny uh, Sardegna that is also with us uh, tonight. I, I know it has been tough to be uh, together because of the COVID-19 and the social distance that we need to practice at all the time. And we're trying our best to, um, to keep everybody separate from the tables and you know, you're not used to see this type of uh, gathering from major stack parties. Major stack parties, you have thousands of people at all the times, and we try to limit as much as we can to make sure you are comfortable to be sitting down at your table, and also we are comfortable to make sure to, uh, uh, to continue protecting That's yourself it. and your health. Also, and I would like to let everybody, the people that are standing right now, we're setting up tables so you guys be able to sit um, as well. Thank you very much and I hope you can enjoy this dinner. Thank you very much everyone. Thank you everyone for being here. I realize the tough times that we're living in now with COVID-19. Um, thank you truly for coming out. The last couple, the last, obviously the last month since really late February have been very difficult for all of us. Um, I've never seen, like most of us have, we've never seen anything like this in our lifetime. And i just like to thank you for the support that you give to Brian Stack Civic Association, something that we started many, many years ago, back when I was basically a teenager. We started out giving out 25 chickens the first year when I was about 14 years old. It's grown to something where we give out, last year, 24,000, 25,000 turkeys. But it's not just the turkeys, it's not just the Christmas toys, it's what the Civic Association does all year long. 100% of the funds from the Civic Association goes back into the community. Um, the only money that comes out of it is to rent on the Civic Association um, that we have at 811 West Street. But truly, no matter if you're documented, undocumented, what your religion may be, no matter where you come from, your ethnicity, your cultural background, the Civic Association is there to help people. Whether it's PSE and G bills, whether it's a family that doesn't have enough money to, do, um, to bury a family member, should a family member pass away, with there, whether it's helping people with citizenship, whether it's helping people with like Christmas toys, as we mentioned, something we started many, many years ago, the Civic Association was there. And I always said to myself, if I was fortunate to be a public official in Union City and now in the 33rd District as the state senator, it's something I would try to do to reach out to as many people as possible. You know, years ago when I first started in politics and I was involved civically in Union City, the way turkeys would be given out, and sometimes we don't realize this, is they would look at the families in Union City with the most voters in the family, and that's how turkeys were given out. It may sound incredible, but that's the way it was done. And I always said to myself, I would never do things that way. If we go into one building, we give to everybody in the building. Listen, it doesn't matter if you vote for us, it doesn't matter if you're a Democrat or Republican, it doesn't matter if you're an independent, you don't vote, you can't vote, you're undocumented, Everybody deserves to be helped. The problems we have today in this world is everything is too partisan. Everything is pitted against each other where we should be working together. And hopefully the Civic Association really makes that demonstration, sets, sets the example of what we should be doing. And it's an honor and a privilege for me to be a part of this. Thanks to all of you, whether you donate, whether you volunteer, whether you're a resident of the city, whether you're not a resident of the city, Everyone who offers a helping hand truly is truly, truly appreciated. Um, I appreciate that. And I'd like to thank my commissioners, Commissioner Valdivia, Commissioner Fernandez, Commissioner Grillon, Commissioner Martinetti, um, our freeholder, Fanny Sedeno, who sees it every day in my office on the front lines. 
of the amount of people that come in and get assistance. And that's something we believe in. You may not always agree with me, but at the end of the day, we all agree it's about helping people, truly helping people. And it's something I'm honored to do, and I would never take lightly or violate that. We really, really appreciate the support that you've given us. And I would just like to thank each of you, and a special thank you to Justin Mercado, who eats and sleeps drinks this every single day for me, truly puts his heart and soul into it to help me run these fundraisers. Wouldn't be able to do it without him. Justin, thank you very much. Thank you. So I, I just ask everyone, um, please enjoy yourself tonight. Be safe, be careful. Thank you for all you're doing. Thank you for coming out tonight, truly. From the bottom of my heart, thank you very much, everyone. Have a great night. Thank you.